So what brings you down then? I'm studying London College of Fashion. Hi there, I'm Edgar Wright, the director and co-writer of Last Night in Soho. And I'm Christy wilson Kearns, the co-writer of Last Night in Soho. And we are standing in London Soho and we would like to take you around some of the locations from the film. Behind us is currently a construction site, but we made this into one of the clubs in the movie, the Rialto. Soho is, to me, like the only part of London that's 24-7 because around here, and especially like Old Compton Street through the middle, sort of feels like the heartbeat of London to me. Soho is just such an important location. It's got such a, a vibe. It's always creative and it's slightly dangerous. We are here in the heart of Soho, which is a uh, Frist Street. There's like three streets next to each other. I remember it, DFG, Dean Frith Greek. We made it into 60s Soho. It's a shot that I can't quite believe that we pulled off. We had Matt Smith and Anya Taylor-Joy driving up Frist Street and turning this corner down Bateman Street. And our amazing production designer, Marcus Rowlands, like, dressed all of this street as the 60s. And I'm very proud of the shot. So we're standing outside the real Café de Paris, which was established in 1924. We shot just around the corner and recreated the 60s entrance and the marquee of what was the cinema there. Inside, we decided that we were going to rebuild the Café de Paris on the stage because in the first 60s sequence in the movie, there are tons of very complicated camera moves that would have been really difficult to do in the real location. The toucan here is important to the movie because we use it as location throughout. Back in the 60s, it was a bar called the Knuckles Bar. Jimi Hendrix played the animals, the musical visionaries of the 60s, 70s, 80s. And then around about the early 90s, it became the bar you see behind us. Should we go in for a drink? I've just been like sort of stuck in pubs for most of my career. <laughs> <laughs>